Welcome back to Creative Energy. Today we're going to look at sound and light. The two creative forces behind all physical matter. Sound and light, from waves and particles to frequencies, from photons. Whether you look at it from a scientific perspective or a metaphysical perspective, all of energy and all of physical matter is created through sound and light. And it has slowed down and maybe become physically dense, but it's still vibrating through frequencies or wave patterns, or gamma rays, x-rays, whatever it is, it has sound and light manifested into the physical. So in ancient Taoist practices, sound is used to vibrate and stimulate different patterns of blocked, stored energy in the organs. It's used to bring in solar healing energy. So this inhaling, exhaling, this cultivating and expelling of good chi and old, stuck, negative chi is how we can activate sound in the body. And in this episode, we're gonna look at different sounds as well as look at some of the sound healing masters in the world today like Jonathan Goldman. And in the second part of the video we're going to look at the light artists, those creating visionary art that deals with the light coming into the body. And we're going to look at some forms and I'm going to share some forms with you that activate the light codes in the body. Sound and light, it's all around us and it's moving through our energy field, whether we're conscious of it or not. So it's time to become more consciously aware of this magnificent gift we have all around of us, the energy cultivation of sound and light, and how we can become more creative and gift ourselves to the world through products that are encoded with high frequencies of sound and light that activate human awareness and consciousness and create this new earth culture. So let's go right into the great work and take a look into sound and light. First chakra, the vowel sound is uh. Second chakra, the vowel sound is oo.
third chakra. The vowel sound is O. Fourth chakra. The vowel sound is ah. Fifth chakra, the vowel sound is I. Sixth chakra, the vowel sound is A. Seventh chakra, the vowel sound is E.
Aloha, my goddess sisters. You know you are more than your physical body. The essence of you is a bright being of light, bigger and brighter than the sun. And only a part of you is animating this incredible organic hologram you call your body. Your quantum goddess aspect is the highest, purest, most loving, wise, powerful part of yourself. You can use this quantum goddess power activation anytime you want to call on divine love, divine power, and divine wisdom to invoke the highest wisdom and guidance. We're going to use the powerful creation words, I am, to create the alignment with your quantum goddess. My dear sisters, be very conscious of the words you use after I am, because you align and expand the words that come next. Here we go. Okay, take a couple of deep breaths and go into your heart. attention into your heart and send a beam of your love light out into the center of the galaxy and connect with the source, the creational source of all that is. In one breath and then another breath, send another beam of your love light down into Mother Earth. Connect with the heart of Mother Earth. more breaths as you feel this connection. Now repeat after me. I am all that is. See, we're aligning with all that is. I am all that is. I am all that is. I am divine light. I am divine love. I am divine wisdom. I am divine power. I am divine joy. I am divine peace. I am divine abundance. I am the being of synthesis and fusion. I am that. I am. the Temple of Hathor, where the women used to use sound, chanting, and the rattle sistrums to go into trance and bring forth the joy and bliss for the festivals and in honor of the goddess Hathor, and in honor of the goddess Thank <laughs> you.
these toroidal dynamics are visible at various scales. One of them is at the galactic level, which are huge spinning structures with billions of stars in it. Looks like typically big arms of galaxies spinning around and they have vortices that goes from the center out to the edge of the galactic halo that surrounds them. Stars move from this galactic disk out to the halo, down the vortices, and back out again. Stars like Arcturus, for instance, we know have done that path already. That's the appropriate description even for the atmosphere of our planet. The weather goes from the North Pole down to the equator and then back up, from the South Pole up to the equator and then back down. Even the dynamics on the surface of the Sun are very similar. Of course, here we're looking at it from an external perspective on a small scale model. When you look at the solar system, embedded in the galaxy, embedded in the cluster, embedded in the supercluster. We're traveling in this boundless sea of infinite torus flows.